Hey Mikey, it's Quinn. I'm here. I'm just getting ready in Calgary to head out to come see you to fly the plane. I ran into Mark. Yeah, I'm a fan. I've been watching the series and I was waiting for my flight and uh, look who I ran into. Yeah, we're just, we're just coming out. We're super excited to see this. I just, uh, he asked me if I was excited and I, uh, that's kind of an understatement. I think it's probably written all over my face. So, so we'll, we will see you both tomorrow. Okay. Okay, Mikey, we'll talk to you later. And I got my family here too. They're all ready to go. <laughs> okay, see you in a few hours there, Mikey. Looking forward to it, buddy. Today's June 5th. Oh, crap. <laughs> Today's June 5th, 2019, and this is episode 155 of Plane Savers. Folks, you're going to want to watch this. Hey folks, the sun has came out, we're cleaning up. You know what that means folks? Not only are we going to do a power run, this will be the first time DTD will be moving under her own power. No tugs, no nothing. Uh, we got clearance to go on the runway. Full speed taxi runs folks. We're going to pop the tail off the ground today. Excited. Ready from scratch to fly. <laughs> yeah. You could be proud of you, I tell you. Well, thank you for letting us live that yep. as well. Yeah. It's not something that we, we get to do too often. In our life. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line her up, lock the tail wheel here.
stewardess with no passengers to speak to. So that was the initial blast down the runway. Four power-ups. Got a little oil cap, oil flap off. A little oil leaks that side. No oil leaks on that side. You can't be dead, a few little things. Jeez. Huh? Unreal. Oh yeah, we'll let her ahead there. I won't put the brakes on. They're totally cool off. So tag the tower, tell them it's good, thank you. Yeah, I already did. Look how nice and clear the weather is now. Girl. We can fly all night. So <laughs> amazing. Bunny hop too. Yeah. <laughs> 41 wheel though. She's hard to hold down. She wants to go. <laughs> She's hard to hold her on the ground. You get the power up, eh? She wants to fly. She's been on a dry run for 27 years. I guess she wants to fly. If you want to dry run for 27 years, you'd fly too. <laughs> No, she's great, guys. Cliff? Looks like we, uh, we built an airplane. Uh, <laughs> we built an airplane there. Wow. Oh, she's great, Mike. 
God. Jay, did you get it? Is it running? Wow. Holy smokes, folks. Holy smokes. That's insane. How was it, Jay? Unreal. Two little snags, vacuum and one sticky airspeed indicator. And that's it. <laughs> I can't, I can't talk. I can't talk. No word. Hey Mikey, we made it to Utah Beach also today. I want you to meet a new member of our team. Hi, I'm Jim Signiago, Colonel, U.S. Army, retired. What did you like about the beach today, Jim? I, got, I have to tell you, of all the time I was stationed in Germany, it's the first time I got to see both of those battle areas, and probably what impressed me the most about both of them was how the width and depth of them, I mean, how vast they were, and I just was imagining being a soldier trying to fight through that. Where are we, Joe? We came in the back door. That's all right. Well, Jean Guy, maybe show us around. Hey, I'm coming around. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you rebuild airplanes here. Yeah. Oh, if you want to come on, I can come. You've seen a few of those, eh, Joe? You've seen a few of those. So this one here is going to go on. You're going to repair this one. Yep. And this one is another set here. Huh? Another set here. Just uh, pick up yesterday from uh, anodizing. Where did they do that at? Montreal. No. Uh -huh. That's good. But it does easy. You'll see for a sick pop all the time. Yep. Great to be meeting you in person. Well, I've been here before. Yeah, I remember. That was when I was picking up those DC4s for a lot of hair. Yeah, that's a long time when yeah. I was a kid, still no, a kid. No, no, we're doing part of the Yeah, I want. You got airplanes out here too, eh? Oh, yeah, we got quite a bit. It's 102 inch, uh, the 108 inch, the long one. Dash, that dash 12 blades, which is the, mo the most performing and everything. So, uh, do you know what Johnny made? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's his old candy dropper there. This one? That one, yeah. Well, the old candy dropper, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, he sold it? Yeah, he sold it to a guy here at uh, Pangle Pally. That's a. Uh, they just changed the letter because Johnny had their, his own letters, like my father, a little bit. At G May, it, it was oh, G yeah. May before, yeah. and now it's they gave, they gave it some other letter. And he kept G May for their otter. They got a turbine otter oh, now yeah. in the flight. So this is a, a good propeller, 108 inches. Yeah, 108. That's longest, longest available for the beavers. Still, we can still have new blades for these things. What, uh, what else is this on? Uh, they will use that on. Ah, uh, jeez. BJT. No, nope, they use much shorter blade, dash 21. They use dash 21 with square tips. So they got the, oh, they, they use that on Harvard. That, oh, that yeah. blade, they use that on Harvard and oh, they use they? that on a beaver. What kind of cock is this? That, that's an AG200 blade. It's, it's, an, a, it's an STC blade on these things. Good, but vibrant the hell out of the end. But it, it's for agriculture? No. And that's the, the Czech Republic. They, they make a blade in Czech Republic. At, uh, what are we looking at here, Joe? BJT. San Juan Beach.
basically that's that's what's left of it. <laughs> There's a one piece windshield. Okay. Well they kept that center old one and they can take the center piece out and put a helicopter blade in and fly it to the site. And okay. you know, say a guy hit a tree or something. Oh yeah. So a lot of times they have, they were hauling helicopter blades. The only thing is pit in it. That sure that, makes sense. That center, that center window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it on a hinge. Okay. Put a blade in and say, go there. Deliver that thing there, yeah. and there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so they wouldn't even think of that one piece windshield. <laughs> well, that's, that's very good. good. Yeah, I got, I got a lot, lot of your, all the blades that doesn't, doesn't make it, you get here until, until you decide to do something about it. Uh, I got the six blade there, good. The DC six blades that you have. Yeah. These ones here. Yeah, the, the, the big fat blade. The, yeah, that's DC trees. This one here. Yeah, and that's DC six. Yeah. There's like six or nine of these blades here, and the rest is beaver blades. I mean, different customers. Well, so how many blades do I have here? Everything is big, like DC trees. Every DC trees and DC fours is all yours. But not this one here, eh? No. So it starts uh, here. No, it's probably yours. I mean, they all have tag, they all the, have tag uh, for identification, yeah. but everything DC trees and DC four is yours. And the C forty six. There's mm -hmm. one set of C forty six. So it starts here, goes all the way around, eh? Pretty much. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. These three, that's yours. C forty six. Is it this one here? Uh, no, uh, DC tree. Yeah, that's yours probably. Uh, but there's right. the big. That's How are you? Before. So we got the right, seal kit, Joe. Joe Red Lake. Oh, that was there's years my father, ago. Joe. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey. 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 Yeah. Hey. I come from uh, here many years ago, but I picked up DC4 from you guys. Yeah. yeah. And that now, yeah, I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, the, the reason I'm down here, I come to make sure you're going to overhaul my engines. 1830s. Go back. Do it. So what are we checking? Go check your car. What's happening? You'll you guys, see. you guys are making me nervous. No, no, just a little surprise. Oh, oh sweet! <laughs> Look at that, folks. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so awesome! That's hot, eh? Thank you! Hey, you're welcome. Oh my god! Look at that! What a good surprise, folks! I've been on the phone with media all day, not making me smile, and, th and I hate not smiling. This makes me smile. That's so cool, awesome. Cool, cool. <laughs> 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 spot, Mikey! Look at this, so look guys! At this. <laughs> oh, that's so cool! <laughs> You do have a feather, right? Eh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Ah, oh, Trent. Trent, if you're here, that's awesome, man. That's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys why I love Surge. So, we needed uh, the aileron adjustment uh, placard, right? The aileron and the rudder. It's it's broken, right? So, we uh, Benoit, uh, and we sent some of this, and we sent their original Douglas blueprints to Surge, and Surge uh, printed some out. Well, I had to draw right? them first, but yeah. Correct? No, but what, what else does Surge Inside. send? Check this out. Surge, show them. All right. You're going to remember, this is correct. That's the correct one, but I didn't want to take a chance so that it was right. So here's one that's 5% uh, smaller, 5% uh, bigger, 10, 15, and 20, just in case that the dimensions and the stuff you send me wasn't right. So I have we, we needed two stickers. These two right here will work. <laughs> he sent backups and backups of backups of all different sizes folks and again that's why Serge gets the big bucks <laughs> big bucks on this project <laughs> okay folks man this has been so cool uh it's a little bit raining out here right now uh, the crew has been giving her surge through some uh right by norma's butt there you can see we got some good pratt and decals my new best friend mike from a opa is here uh he's spending the next two days here he's some of the good media i've been talking to a lot of media today 
I apologize for them. I do. <laughs> He's one of the good ones, folks. Aopa, uh, what, what, what's the deal with the story? Where is it going to be? Uh, probably going to be in the next issue of AOPA Pilot Magazine. And they, they got a scholarship program coming up and all that stuff. I'll probably be talking more about that in Oshkosh, which is going to be post plane savers. So what's post plane savers? Uh, no one knows, folks. I don't know. Mike doesn't know. But we'll, we'll certainly think of something. But uh, right now, it's all about this airplane. Got to get it flying. We got one more day, 24 hours from now. Should be heading down the runway. I think you're going to make it. It's looking good. It's lit. Just got here last night. Do you know good. how many times we've loaded I aircraft say that. <laughs> and spent all day loading an aircraft and it taxis out to the runway and it comes back for like a mag drop or a forklift hits it? There's a million things, folks, that can happen. I've been doing my best to stay positive, but I've seen so many times stuff happen. So we're all, all fingers are crossed. The crew's just been amazing. Look at this. Every, even Benjamin. How's it going, Benjamin? Benjamin, Benjamin got a speeding ticket today. <laughs> Whoa, my mother will uh, will watch this. <laughs> but yes, I did have a speeding ticket. You, you was bringing the pizza over, eh? Yeah, right, we were, the pizza we were for hungry, the, uh, so it, you know, no regards. Get the ticket, pizza. pay the ticket. <laughs> but the boys are gonna have lunch. Eh? Yeah, that's the way it goes. So if you're here tomorrow night, just remember. Benjamin, uh, we have a we have a speed ticket fun going on for Benjamin. 132. 132. <laughs> oh man, this has been so awesome. There's a good shot of the deckle. Uh, it's not over yet. Uh, we do have some more surprises for this episode. I can't wait, man. This is so awesome. So how's the weather? It started raining again. I heard on the news that over here in Quebec, this is the worst spring that we've had in 45 years. Weather-wise, I mean, uh, cold weather, rain and all that, the worst in 45 years. And you, have, you guys have to show up here at that exact moment. <laughs> to celebrate the 75th year. Yeah. Ah, it's good, it's, it's good. Look at the green grass. <laughs> That's even rare where I'm from. <laughs> Dominic, you were here last night. What you thought, what's your thoughts seeing that? The, uh, about the repair. No, the, the taxi. Uh, the taxi, that was nice. <laughs> that was amazing to see the aircraft alive. <laughs> came, was... came back alive, very nice. <laughs> yes, at, at that it? hole, number one being uh, fixed. So literally hours, hours before the last couple little patches are, are getting done. Whew. Robert, how's everything going? Pretty good, pretty good. I just uh, need to do a few touch-ups, but uh, it's... Uh, Robert really asked well. me, because people have been asking about porta potties <laughs> Yes, so we're going to have five porta potties at the event tomorrow. So be sure that we have some, yeah. We're good yeah. to go. Oh, yeah. Fine. And remember, bring your chair and food. It's going to be like a picnic, folks. Absolutely. Uh, we're planning, you know, maybe show up... Or, actually, I'm not going to say anything, uh, but show up times. Just follow the directions that Benoit or someone emails you and uh flight's gonna be around 6 30 p.m to give people enough time to go home uh and you know after work deal with the montreal traffic which has been a character in this show oh no kidding the montreal no traffic kidding, yeah and uh, by the way mikey uh, i think i mentioned that to you there'll be uh people that uh work for transport that flew on this dc3 yes. tomorrow i'm expecting about a dozen of, of these people mechanics pilots that uh, flew on dtd and uh, i talked to one this morning, he's 84 years old, and uh, he was literally crying of, of joy oh, nice. of the fact that the airplane came back to came back to life. So it's pretty oh, good. Thank you. I get pretty that good. reminds me. Transport Canada again has been so amazing. Yeah. Um, you know the stuff that we're doing with the airplane, mechanically, physically, mentally, and spiritually, and every kind of illy I can think of. Uh, but Transport Canada. Uh, top-notch hunter marks 100% um, I'm gonna spend the rest of my life uh, praising transport uh, you guys are awesome and girls she's not gonna run me over flight chops look at that more surprises all day save the day Nick where'd you find them I don't know he was uh, hanging out in the parking lot just lugging my bags like I was, was lost like a, I think. like a lost hobo 
So what you think from the last time you seen her? Yeah, man, I can't believe how good this looks. It's unbelievable. Della did this with trim clad. Amazing. Yeah, no, it's pretty good. Uh, Co-pilot should be showing up here any second too. Uh, yeah, we're doing good, man, doing good. Okay, folks, one thing I seen in the comments that I got, a, I almost forgot, but is why isn't the roundel just over here in the center? And, and it's, there's actually a very, very simple answer to that, is that the roundel came first. That's where the roundel is supposed to be. The evasion stripes were a temporary signal, you know, a visual signal to say that this is an allied aircraft. So the, the stripes are painted on second and, and temporary. So roundel supposed to go there, stripes are temporary. It was never meant to be symmetrical. Uh, hopefully that answers it, but I know for sure that the roundel and stripes are historically accurate because people have told me that. <laughs> We're almost done, Mr. Fred. We're almost done. Yeah, that's right. What's going through your head right now? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared to have forget something. Did I forget something? Did Pierre forget something? Did William forget something? Did uh, Save the Day Nicks forget something? We'll all... We'll know tomorrow. Yeah. You know, it's Je me souviens in Quebec? Yeah. Je me souviens, I remember. But I don't remember what. I have full confidence in Fred, Pierre. Save the Day Nick and everybody. Everybody's been amazing. It's been super, super, super awesome again. This is it, folks. This is this is the last night. Uh, tomorrow night is going to be uh, whatever it is. Tomorrow night is going to be uh, after the flight uh, is yeah, what time is it? It is 5:30. So we are 25 hours away from this, and uh, yeah, it's crazy. I'm speechless. We got uh, one more person. Well, my family's stuck in traffic. They're coming here. Uh, we got the co-pilot Quinn Jones. Uh, I'm just waiting for him to come and I will pick him up and uh, He hasn't seen Joe in a long time. So uh, yeah, I'll get I'll capture that today's episode might be on a little bit late, but uh, you guys I've been trying to get the episodes out as early as possible, but there's only two more left. There's this one tomorrow's uh, Oh, so I guess I'll explain so I'll do a live stream tomorrow but also a real episode. It's gonna be a little bit complicated. So it's only after this two more episodes of Plane Savers. That's it. That's it. We're done. Hey Mikey, we're at Drop Zone Kilo. They moved the drop for the DAX over Normandy. So now we're at Drop Zone Kilo instead of November. Come on, jump in. Good to see you. Let me grab my stuff. Hang on.
I got my gear. Squirting it for you. <laughs> Okay, am I allowed to be more excited now? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good, cool. <laughs> dude. This is so great. Awesome. I actually saw the Plane Savers van go. It turned on the dirt road just as I was coming around. Like, where's he going? Wait for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, this is awesome, buddy. So you excited? Oh. The family's all here. They're in the they hotel. Are. Yeah, I set him up in the hotel. I said, did you get that video that I sent? Oh, dude, that's opening the episode today. It's epic. Yeah, that guy, uh, Mark, awesome to see him. He was standing there. He just said, hey, I know you. You're the guy flying the plane with, with Joe. I'm like, yeah, that's me, man. So, yeah, that, that's so great. First time being recognized like that? Yeah. Yeah, you're probably used to that, though. Well, <laughs> being, being at this game a little long. We've been at this for a little while. <laughs> yeah. No, but, I am so pumped. I am so pumped to do this. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody too. It's great to see you, man. Oh, thank you. Man, I live it. It's been, what, how long, when did I run into you? So what do you think? Oh my goodness, that is incredible, Mikey. Dude. Dude. I, I really think you're the most excited person in 155 episodes. Oh my goodness, I, well, if I'm not, then somebody else was having a really great day when they saw it. I can't believe this. You have done such an amazing job of this plane, man. Kenny was, Kenny Buse was just absolutely <laughs> stunned by the thing too. Like, yeah, just, it's just unbelievable. Oh, here's the Plane Savers Mobile. There's Stella. Hey guys. Hi Stella. Hi Stella. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm pumped. Okay. Wow. That is just awesome. So you haven't it, seen Joe for a while, I eh? I haven't. I ran into Joe, I think the last time I saw Joe was just happenstance walking through the Edmonton airport and he was standing there and I was in uniform uh, going from A to B. I'm like, he, I had my lid on because they make us wear a costume in the, in the terminal, eh? <laughs> so uh, yeah, I saw him like, Joe. Yeah, he didn't recognize me until I took the lid off. Anyway, wow. Do you see him? <laughs> there he is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, here he is. Joe! How you doing there, my friend? Gosh. How did you get here so quick when? Yeah, you know me, I flew, eh? Oh, yeah. So, no, how did you get from the airport to here? You got your old DC-4 draft turn right now. That's the one from Sylvan Lake, that's the one, uh... That's the one um, Jared designed it. Did and yeah. I and I got ball cap in my bag and oh, yeah. I figured yeah, I'd better yeah. bring him along for the those, ride. Those, those look, my like GoPro drugs. just died. See, I said, we'll look at this. Yes. Want to go look? Want to go look at the airplane? I do. I, I I'm think, yeah, I'll take him in there. You, <laughs> there's so many people in there. I didn't want to get in there and get in everybody's way. Just <clears throat> man, you've done a great job. You guys, well, let's, go, let's go take a look. Yeah, yeah, I got honestly, I just got to end the episode, so I got to figure out an ending. Beautiful, eh? Boy, they've done a heck of a job. I would have been here since yesterday, the day before. Yeah, I saw that picture when you got there. Like he says, pampered kid. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, I had hey poor Flippers down there in Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> yeah. Right with the Kennedys. Wow. So, they had one Kennedy that was born in Flippers. What was his name? Teddy Kennedy. The one that fell off the bridge. So same as uh, same as DTH would be adopted, eh, Joe? Yeah, identical. Wow. Yeah, I saw Ronnie describing that. Hey, hey Jay, what? You guys are magicians. Hey, Quinn. How you doing? Great. Really great to meet you. I was gone right before you showed up. I, re I recognize your name, yeah, 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 I remember the guy's talking about yeah, I re yeah. your name. Wow, you guys are magicians, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's coming along good, eh? It's unbelievable now to see a picture of what it looks like. Oh, hard to picture, isn't it? I'll pop in the cockpit here. This just feels like me walking around CUE, getting ready to do my to do my initial ride. It just it's just taking me back. That paint job is just totally taking me back to that right now. Really going inside? Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because it had the same overhead bins and all that, but this sounds like it's even better. So, 
Jay, you've been so busy. We, have, we haven't had a joke in so many okay. episodes. We need a Jay joke. Okay, well, you gotta have to. I gotta think of one. I, I, I'm not okay, so Quinn and I are gonna go look at the airplane. We're gonna end the episode with a Jay joke, I promise. Ronnie! Oh, I had dark hair. <laughs> Like I said, dark hair. <laughs> yeah. My goodness, it's great to see you again. Oh man. Love the deck. There she is. <laughs> yeah. Jay, how'd you get in here? That's me, Quinn. That's a magician nice move. Nice to meet you. Secret entrance from the belly. Look at the belly. Boy, does she ever look different? You can see out of the windows and all that stuff. Yeah, you haven't been up in the cockpit for a while, Mike. Oh my goodness. Well, I saw the surprise. How you doing? Good. Good. Quinn, we talked on the yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, great to meet you. Yeah. Oh, this is so totally coming back. The heater. The whole, oh my goodness. I don't want to crowd you guys out. Look at that. Hey, plane savers. <laughs> plane savers. My son's been saying that. <laughs> wow. But not that matters. Nice. <laughs> Miles, okay? hey, yeah, jump in. She's your seat. Oh, baby. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Just like I remember it. Love it. It's all right there. It's been a long time since I've seen the wing and the engine on a plane in flight. Love it. My mom used to ask me why there was always pictures. Every picture I ever took had the wing and the engine in it. And I used to say, well, that way I know what plane I was in because I can identify the wing and the engine. <laughs> Mikey, this is incredible. Thank you for asking me to come do this. this oh, is like just again, dude. I'm not joking. You were the choice from the beginning. That once I uh, found out your grandfather flew this exact aircraft. He sat right there, man. He sat right there. I brought something to show you. I'm going to bring it on the flight with me. I'll show you later. That's awesome. That's a little thing that I'm going to take with me just to, uh, to bring him one more time around the patch. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna cool. let you have time. Yeah, just to absorb this. Get some time by yourself. Am I in the way here? Oh no, we'll lock okay. the door. You can have time. <laughs> William will make sure yeah. that you're fine. <laughs> and I got to end the episode. My mom and sister are stuck in the famous Montreal traffic. Montreal traffic has been uh, a character, uh, almost I would say a villain, in, in in today's episode. But again, that is if that's the biggest villain that we have. That is not a big deal. Okay, so I gave Jay enough time. Everything. We're gonna end the episode. I gotta get this out. I saw a squirrel. I'm kind of like a crow. If I see something shiny, I turn the other way. Now I'm into finding one more screw for the clamp, so I'm, I'm, I'm jokeless. I'm so sad to say I might have to wait for a few minutes or tomorrow. I say let's wait for tomorrow. If Jay doesn't have a joke, that means he's still working, folks. And uh, everybody's been working. Uh, again, shout out to Benjamin and Will, the night chef, too, who's just been insane. Everybody here, uh, great job. Awesome. I can't wait for tomorrow. I got it. Oh, Jay's got it. Yeah. I went for breakfast this morning in St. Hubert, ordered ham and eggs, and I only got one egg. And when I asked the waitress why, she said, because here in Quebec, one egg is a noof. There you go, folks. Dad joke of the year. We'll see you tomorrow. Big day. D-Day. Bye.